Few animals are as bizarre as the octopus, but don't let its alien appearance fool you, for it's one of the most adaptable predators roaming the seas. They have nine brains and can think with all of them at the same time. But most impressive is their ability to shapeshift. What is it that allows octopi to change their size and shape as easily as we breathe? Let's find out. The Octopus Body The octopus body is indeed bizarre, kinda like the aliens we see in sci-fi movies. For starters, their blood is blue. Not because they're royalty, but because they have high levels of copper in their blood, unlike our blood which is rich in iron. Next, they have three hearts. Two pump blood through the gills, and another circulates it to the organs. The circulating heart always stops beating when an octopus swims, which explains why they prefer crawling the sea floor. Swimming tires them out faster. They also have the strange ability to drop limbs, called autonomy, which they might use to distract enemies. Their dropped arms can attack their foes even while not attached to their bodies. But no worries, the octopus body can regrow a new, fully functional arm in less than four months. But most impressive of all is the octopus brain as no invertebrate in the wild has a brain as complex as the octopus does. The octopus has around 500 million neurons in its body, putting them in the same range as dogs. Their large brains allow them to navigate mazes, solve problems, and even remember things. Octopi have a mini brain of sorts in the base of each of their eight arms, allowing them to perform separate tasks at the same time. Their arms can curl and unfurl, and they come with around 2,000 individually moving suction cups. These suckers also come with chemical sensors that not only feel, but also taste and smell as well, allowing them to probe everything their arms grasp perfectly, an ability preferred by bottom-dwelling octopi to move among the rocks while carefully scouting crevices for prey or predators. Moving on with their intelligence, octopi are also clever enough to use tools like coconuts that have fallen underwater as protection from predators, or shells as a shelter to hide beneath. Octopi are also among the few animals to present self-awareness. This is the capacity to know that they're conscious beings. We've seen this with other animals in previous videos, like the mantis shrimp or the orca. To better understand this, let's remember that most fish in aquarium settings aren't aware that they're in a tank. But octopi are self-aware enough to understand that they're trapped inside a tank, and that humans are outside of it. The Diet of the Octopus Almost all octopi are predators, with the bottom-dwelling ones eating mostly crabs, clams, and whelks, while the open ocean octopi prefer prawns, fish, and even other cephalopods whether it's squids, cuttlefish, or other octopi. All octopi are venomous, though only the blue-ringed octopus found in Australia is dangerous to humans. When they spot prey, their usual motto is to pounce on it and wrap their webbed arms around them to prevent their escape. If it's a crustacean, they'll inject it with a paralyzing saliva and dismember it with their beaks. When eating clams, they'll force the valves apart or drill a hole in the shell with their beaks to inject a nerve toxin. But some species, like the Dumbo octopus, are happy enough to simply swallow their prey whole. On the other hand, their main predators are fish, seabirds, sea otters, whales, and other octopi. They'll use their distinguished abilities to avoid them. In fact, octopi spend around 40% of their time just hiding away in their den. If a predator approaches, they might extend an arm to scout for danger. If the predator spots them, they'll try to escape through their water jet propulsion, or use a distraction with an ink cloud sent from their ink sac. But why ink? Well, octopus ink can disrupt the senses of most predators starting with their sight, but also their smell and even hearing. This ink is made of melanin and mucus, and is so powerful that it can affect the octopus itself if it doesn't get out of the way of its own ink cloud. 
Escaping fights is always better for them, as they lack a hard shell, a sharp spine, or strong jaws like many other marine predators. Inking and fleeing are their main survival tactic. But what makes them so effective as predators is their shape-shifting ability. Masters of Disguise Octopi are the undisputed masters of disguise in nature, due to their ability to change color, brightness, pattern, and even texture in the blink of an eye. They can literally hide in plain sight from their predators, who'd probably mistake them for a rock or some coral. In fact, this is a well-known trick called the moving rock trick. With this, the octopus disguises itself as a rock and then moves across the underwater open space with speed matching that of the surrounding water, so nearby sea animals won't notice that it's approaching or escaping. But what is it that makes them change colors? It's actually a bunch of special skin cells called chromatophores, allowing them to change their appearance through yellow, orange, red, brown, or black pigments. That also explains why you've never seen a pink or green octopus. Plus, more octopus species only have three of these colors. They might also use their color change to advertise for mates. But not only are they masters of disguise, these critters are also escapists capable of outdoing Houdini himself. Escape Artists Being some of the most common aquarium animals, it's no surprise that many octopi have figured out ways to escape from their tanks if they want to. You'll find many videos online of sneaky octopi that crawl out of tanks or slip through openings several times smaller than them. Due to their soft, boneless bodies, octopi can squeeze through almost all small openings. A large octopi can even fit through a space the size of a silver dollar, and a small one through a space the size of a bead. But it's their craftiness and curiosity that allows them to escape from aquariums unspotted, as octopi can understand human attention patterns well enough that they'll only attempt to escape a tank when scientists aren't looking at them. Add to that their tenaciousness, as there have been cases of octopi hiding in drains for up to five days after escaping from a tank, just waiting for the perfect moment to return to the sea. But you're probably wondering, what does the life cycle of an octopus look like? Life Cycle 40 days after a female octopus mates, she'll attach strings of around 10,000 to 70,000 small fertilized eggs to rocks in a crevice. She'll care for them there until they hatch. Depending on the octopus species, this could take from 5 months to even 4 years. There are few mothers as devout as female octopi. She remains caring for the eggs 24-7, keeping them clean and irrigating them and doesn't even eat during this time. As soon as they hatch, the octopus female dies. Many times, the male one also ages rapidly after mating and also dies. The octopus hatchling is known as a fry, and they're independent from the moment they hatch, requiring no maternal care. They probably drift surface waters eating plankton for three months and then settle to the sea floor. It takes a year for a young octopus to grow to around 2 pounds, but by year 2, it'll probably weigh 20 pounds and be ready to mate and repeat the cycle. Interestingly, wild octopi are incredibly solitary, but when kept in an aquarium, they behave differently towards their individual human keepers, proving that they're highly adaptable to many settings. For example, Octopi in at least two aquariums learned to turn off the lights by squirting jets of water at the bulbs while no one was looking, causing the power supply to short circuit. This got so out of control in a New Zealand university that the octopus had to be released back to the wild. That's because octopi dislike bright lights, and they squirt jets of water at anything that annoys them. And by the way, that also includes humans. In that same New Zealand lab, an octopus apparently disliked a member of the lab staff so much that whenever she passed by on the walkway beside its tank, the octopus would shoot a jet of half a gallon of water at the back of her neck. 
In another case, an octopus was known to squirt streams of water at every new visitor to the lab, but not at the lab workers. Octopus Emotions Many people think that because octopi look so alien, they must also lack emotions. But that's actually far from the truth. Due to their large brains and developed nervous systems, octopi have some of the most complex emotional ranges found in the wild. They're known to experience emotions such as curiosity and even affection for other octopi and even human caretakers. Octopi don't cease to amaze scientists with their cleverness, mainly because, being cephalopods, they're closer to clams than to humans. And yet, they've displayed some of the most intelligent behaviors of a sea invertebrate. An octopus named Rambo even learned how to take photos at a New Zealand aquarium after just three attempts. It's clear that, with time, scientists will discover even more shocking facts about octopi. And if that wasn't enough to surprise you, why not take a look at one of the most dangerous sea animals in the wild? We're talking about the mantis shrimp, capable of shattering aquarium glass tanks with a single blow. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.